All right, hello everybody. Um, welcome back. It's been quite a while for me. Um, I have been out just being busy, uh, doing things. I have been scrapbooking and I'm thinking about putting together like a big, you know, here's all the stuff I've scrapbooked um, video, but I just, I have not been videoing them. I just haven't had the time to really video them and get them all put together but I do have a whole bunch uh, that I can share maybe with a layout share. So I will think about that and possibly we'll do a video with a layout share of everything I've been doing over the past month or so. Um, there's quite a few. Um, but today I am joining in for Mix It Up Monday. And um, this time I'm going to kind of combine um, scrap room uh, from the scrap rooms killer kit and also mix it up monday so as you can see i have a very bare bones kit right here um, this is all that i have left from my scrap room kit i apologize that i don't remember which month this was from but this is um, from fancy pants design um, memory lane collection you can see here memory lane collection i pulled these out so that we could see and I have just scraps and very, very little to work with. I'm kind of excited to get this used up. I love this kit. Um, I've used, obviously, it up quite a bunch, um, but I have not quite finished it. So I'm gonna hope to do that today and kind of kill this kit off. Um, for Mix It Up Monday, uh, we generally use a sketch and then we use different types of mixed media and things on the background to kind of mix it up a little bit. So this week, um, I don't have a printout of the sketch, but I will have um, a photo of it at the very beginning of the video. You would have seen it. And this sketch is by Brandy Joe this month. And it kind of consists of like triangular pieces kind of meeting in the middle. Um, of the paper, a pretty simple design with a big title and three photos. Well, I'm gonna be mixing it up here because as you can see, I don't have enough paper to do all of those triangles. So I'm hoping to get maybe two triangles out of this sheet of paper to put down and then having the other two triangles just be um, my dark craft cardstock here. So bear with me, I'm hoping it'll work. Okay, so that's it for the sketch and for my papers. I'm going to be scrapping this photo. This is of me and um, my coach, and we were at the sale of my first home, so I would like to scrap. Um, I was the real estate agent, sorry. I wasn't buying a home, I was the real estate agent. She's my coach that helped me through my process my first time, so I wanted to scrap this picture of us using this kit. I have all kinds of goodies here off to the side. Um, I want to point out this first. So this does not go with this kit. However, as you can see, some of the colors like really match up with it. And I liked these little houses here. So I might use a couple of these little houses being as, you know, I sold a house. So um, I liked that a lot. So I'm going to pull a few of these stickers. This is from another scrap room kit. It's from the Simple Life from Simple Stories that kit I have just about killed as well. So I'm just gonna use some stickers from this um, for this layout. I have a little ephemera pack that came with this. I don't know what I'm gonna be able to use from here because it's not fall, I'm not nostalgic. So I'll pull out what I can from there to use. From my stash, I pulled out some enamel dots that go nicely with that color. I have two um, wood pieces left from one of my hip kit clubs. So I'm gonna try to incorporate those and kill that off. And then I have some magic mesh that's really, really old, probably about 15 to 20 years old from Stampin' Up. It's like a coppery color, but I like it. It kind of goes along with, with this um, brownish color in here. So um, I'm gonna see if I can put that to use as well and kind of use that up. Let me get these little pieces put back in my little tray here. I have a stencil because we do have mixed media on the background. So I think this is quite appropriate with the little houses. So I'm going to use um, my stencil and I think I'm gonna use my molding paste through the stencil. Okay, so that's what I'm thinking about for that. I have some acrylic paint to do some white splatters. And then for my title, 
I'm going to have to make something work. This is off-white, whereas my background is white. So I think I'm going to kind of paint over these with my white acrylic paint. We'll see how that works. And I'm going to use my wood um, as well because I have these other wood pieces. So I feel like maybe that'll, maybe that'll work. If not, I can always paint this white too. So we'll see how it looks once I get it on the page. Um, but that's my plan. So why don't I go ahead and first thing, try to figure out how best to fit my triangles on here. Now, they're not gonna be as big as the triangles because as you can see, I don't have a full sheet of paper. So I'm gonna try to work that out, get a couple of little triangles that'll at least give us the same idea as um, the sketch. And we're gonna go from there. All right, so I'll see you back here in just a moment once I get that cut out and figured out. All right, so I have gone ahead and cut my triangles. As you can see here, I'm just kind of showing y'all. See how I did not get them to go all the way to the center, but I think that's gonna be okay since I can put my photo there to cover where they don't meet. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my stenciling with my cute little Simple Stories house stencil and some um, uh, modeling paste here. Um, a good rule of thumb, if you want something a little bit neater looking, if you don't care, obviously it's fine, but if you want uh, your stencil to look a little bit neater, it's a good idea to put maybe some washi tape to hold it down. I know that that seems pretty self-explanatory, but I can't tell you how many times I have done it without washi and it's kind of moved all over. So this time I wanted to make sure that my modeling paste stayed right there and I got clear little houses, so I did use a little bit of washi to hold that in place. Um, I'm going to do one full sheet here and then off camera after I take this off and show you how cute these little houses look, I am going to extend all the way across the paper as I'm showing you right there. I had filmed this ahead of time with all the voice in there but it was like 46 minutes long and I don't think any of us want to listen to me talk that long. So there, that's what the houses look like. They're super cute. And here I went ahead and went all the way across this is what it looks like with the two triangles put in place. Again, see how they don't meet in the middle, but that's not gonna matter. I'm gonna show you here in just a moment um, with the photo covering it. So really, it, it works out pretty well. And I don't think that it matters too much at all. The houses in the background are super cute. Um, I'm loving how that looks. And I think it goes really, really well with my picture. Um, I was a second ago just kind of looking at the scraps I had and I'm going to end up pulling one of those out in a minute um, to use as kind of a secondary mat, a secondary partial mat on the back of my photo. You'll see when I do that in a bit. But first I wanted to go ahead and put that magic mesh onto my page to kind of mimic um, this. It looked like there were stamps in kind of like a mesh pattern on um, the sketch. And so I'm using this magic mesh uh, instead of that just to kind of give sort of that look or illusion of that sort of look there um, this magic mesh is probably about 15 to 20 years old so it basically has no stick left so I do have to kind of glue it down right there I'm holding it down with some shimmers paints that were sitting on my desk um, just just to keep it in place while I start to glue things down uh, at this point I went off camera and I put that secondary mat down around my photo and then I made some tags out of the little scraps of paper that I had left. I really like how that looks. Uh, the sketch really didn't have anything like that but I decided eh, you know more is more for me. So I made those little tags out of all of the different patterns of paper that I had there. Um, I'm making my title right now. It's actually going to say first sale since this was my first closing that I went to and for the first home that I sold. So I wanted to just title it first sale. I'm leaving this little part in here because I did not have a letter S anymore. So I was kind of wanting to show how you can use some of the numbers and things that maybe you don't use that often to create uh, letters that you may use a lot of like S's and R's and different things. So you can use some of your letters to create, I'm sorry, some of your numbers to create some of the letters that you've run out of at that point, which I think is pretty cool because I never use numbers. So there you go with my title. I decided to take the little wood frame that I had left over from Hip Kit Club and turn it into a shaker pocket. I've already put the acetate and my strips of 
um, sticky foam on the back of it and going to get ready to put in some sequins which I had in my stash that were from I believe not just for boys kit club I can't tell you what month they were from or what kit they were just sitting in my stash from something that I had left over so I decided to use them I felt like the colors went pretty nicely with this so I went ahead and backed it with just a little bit of that darker brown paper that I had left I didn't have any of that on my layout yet so I thought it would be really good in the back of the shaker pocket because it wouldn't be too, you know, um, bad with the other floral. I was kind of worried about using it with the other floral. So at this point, I have gone through my sticker sheet that I had there. Um, it was from Simple Stories. And I pulled out a couple of houses. And um, that key right there, I took from it as well. I thought those worked really, really well for the theme of my page. And that's approximately where I'm gonna put everything. At the moment, I'm just pushing down on uh, my shaker pocket because it was wanting to come up. So there I put my molding paste on top of it while I was putting some foam behind the houses. They're still in the same spot. I put a little uh, wordy bit that says home on there. Put some foam behind that key so that it could sit up nicely with my shaker pocket. And I'm thinking this looks really cute so far. Here's a little heart sticker from the sticker sheet as well that I just decided to put up with those tags. And now I'm going to put the rest of the wordy bits down on the bottom. I have three of them. One says home sweet home. One of them says photos. And then I can't really read what the other one says. That's gray on the bottom. So I apologize for that. But I put all of those up on foam as well so that they kind of stick up and give a little dimension to the page. And now I'm just sticking on some enamel dots. I'm using the dark blue color, the very, very lightest blue color, and then I had some cream colored enamel dots that came with the kit. So I'm kind of putting all three of those. You'll be able to see the one on the top here. I apologize for the bottom being out, um, out, of, the, out of the frame. I didn't realize that it was when I was filming. It looked like it was all there, but apparently not. So that's what I, those are the, that's the color combination I'm using here is these enamel dots, cream, uh, dark blue, and light blue. And I think they turned out really cute and I think they complemented the colors in this kit really, really well. So the last thing I have that I'm going to do here is I am going to add some white splatters. I'm just going to use some regular old acrylic white paint as I showed you in the beginning and then mix that with water. Um, and then just with a paintbrush, I'm going to go ahead and splatter all over the place. Now I'm concentrating mostly at first on just my, um, my clusters here, but I do end up putting splatters all over the entire page because I just, I don't care for just the really plain craft. I felt like it needed something else to kind of tie in. Plus I thought those white splatters on the top kind of look like stars above the houses. So I felt like that was really cute. I am putting extra white splatters on uh, the clusters and not quite as much on the rest of the page, but um, I, I do like how it turned out. I think it, it ended up to be really, really cute. And I think it, I think it complements the sketch really well. Here are some close-ups of the shaker pocket. I love that shaker pocket. I did get, I'm pointing out here that I did get some paint on the shaker pocket, but I think it looks really cute. I think that key works really well. Love the wood um, accents that I had here. I'm really glad that I had a few of those left and that I was able to use them. And the cluster with the houses over there is just so cute um, with, the, with the foam and everything helping them. It kind of looks like, you know, you're looking on a row of houses. So that's everything. I hope that you guys all enjoyed uh, this layout today and that you found some inspiration here. For more inspiration, make sure you check down in my description and there's going to be a link to um, a playlist of everybody else who's playing along with Mix It Up Monday. So make sure you go and watch all of those. Please subscribe for more videos like this and I will see y'all next time. Bye for now.